Hey, what's up, YouTube? Um, this is Rick with another uh, tutorial, and I decided to do this tutorial because I was working on another track, and I discovered another way to do harmonies. A lot of times when I'm doing tracks, I actually either sing the harmonies myself or I have the artist that I'm working with sing the harmonies. Well, I found a way that you can do harmonies, and there's two ways you can actually do this. Well, actually, I mean, it's the same process, but you can either use this to create the harmony or see what the harmony sound like and then you can record it yourself or you can actually just use this particular method without changing anything and use this to harmony. I'm going to explain that to you in more detail but the track that I'm working on right now it's a rock song um, let me play a piece of it for you up into the part where I'm going to work on the harmony there's one that's already here it's a harmony that was actually recorded and then I'm going to show you how to do the one that I'm working on now and the reason why I'm doing it this way is because I couldn't it was I was having problems just hearing the harmony myself so instead of just trying to bring up a keyboard and figure it out I decided to use this method so let's just listen to a piece of what I'm working on right now here we go let's get that button up here hold on one second there it is let's play it here we go part right there the chorus part is what I'm going to do the harmony on um, now as I'm listening to this I hear a couple of things that I want to change on it but I'm not gonna actually do those things right now um, there's a couple of parts where the voice dips a little low and I'm gonna actually make those louder in the finished version of what I'm doing but for now I'm just gonna show you this I don't want this video to be too long so what we're gonna do is now these are three voices and the reason why I have them, the same voice, I just duplicated and the reason why I had them duplicated is because the vocals were not loud enough, the music was much louder than the vocals. So I duplicated this three times um, to actually make it louder without individually raising the volume and causing distortion on the voice and all that stuff. I just duplicated three times, made it three times as loud, which actually works for this track. Now. So that explains that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this one and actually I'm going to do the bottom one since I'm going to have to duplicate the other ones too. I'm going to take this one and I'm going to make another duplication of it just for harmony purposes. So I'm going to duplicate this. Alright, so now we're going to have two of them that are going to be in solo mode. These two. This is the original one. Obviously the top one and this is going to be the harmony. So, let me listen to it and figure out what parts I want to harmonize. Cause living. Um, so living is definitely going to be, so the cuz can go. We don't need the cuz, we're going to cut that out. So, let's get my slice tool. I'm going to slice the cuz out and we're going to just do living. Okay. Now, let's listen to it one more time. Just live it without you. Okay. Living. Live because living without you. I think I'm going to do both of those parts. So what I'm going to do is, because living, I think without you might need a different slice. Every time I do a harmony, depending on whether it stays in the shift or if it uh, changes, it will depend on whether or not I do another slice, but let's see. Now, so what you do is, we're going to start off again with this piece right here. Um, I'm going to go up to audio, go up to process, go down to pitch shift, and I'm thinking that I can shift this up two semitones. See, there will be two semitones. Well, let's start with one first to see what it sounds like with one. 
Um, so we're going to shift it up one semitone and we're going to preview it. Let's live in. Let me see what it sounds like. Alright, uh, what we're going to do is, because I know that I'm not going to do the whole thing, I'm almost positive that because living is going to be one shift and that without you is going to be a different shift. So I'm going to slice it right there and I'm going to put the first one on because living, that's the same, I think those are going to be the same, the same shift. And I'm going to actually try one. I think one is probably going to be a good place to start. So we're going to go up one semitone and we'll process it. Just, and what you want to do here, this is really important. You want to do a new version. If you do uh, continue without doing a new version, it's going to shift everything on this thing. On uh, this whole, this whole uh, track will be shifted up. So you only want this, so you definitely want to make sure you select a new version. Anyway, let's listen to what we did so far. Just leave it without you. Okay, now, um, I think that part works. Just leave it without you. Without you. I think that's going to be a different shift. So let's listen to that part again. Just leave it without you. Okay, so, without you ends right here. So you want to put move the cursor a little bit actually and we'll instead of just doing the slice tool this time we'll go up to edit and we'll go split at sensor now I'm gonna highlight that go back up to audio go up to the process again come down to pitch shift again and this time we're gonna take it up two semitones it's living without me preview it living without Living, living, with, with, uh, living, with, living, with, 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 living, with, 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 I'm not sure if that's the right one. Let's process it. New version, of course. And let's listen to it and see what it sounds like. Just living with that. Just ain't okay, so that works. I like that. So let's listen again. Just live it without you. Just ain't living at all. Now I'm gonna take that just ain't out of there. Cause I think that stays the same. Just ain't. So I'm gonna take that out completely. And the reason why I'm doing that is because I've already got it doubled three times. So this has to be harmony because if you double it too much, it's going to sound look really, really cluttered. So let's do it again. Just leave it without you. Just ain't living at all. Now I think that part is going to be the same shift. Just ain't living at all. I don't know if that's going to. Just ain't living at all. Just ain't. Living at all, let me see, just ain't living at all. Let me see two more times, make sure I'm singing it right. Just ain't living, living at, at all. all. Living at all. So let's do this again. Living at all. Living, living at all. Living, living at all. Living at, that's not right. Living at all, this thing. Just ain't living at li living at all. Just ain't living at all. Just living at all. That would be too high. Just ain't living at all. Just ain't. Uh, let's try it. See if it works. It might be too high. I might have to do that over. Uh, just ain't. Just ain't. Living at all. Actually, that might work. Let me see. One more time. I'm not sure if I like the way that that at all part ends. I think this part is good. I think the at all part might be, may need to be different. Let me listen to it one more time. Just leave it without you. Just ain't living at all. I, I think it works. I think it works. Um, living at all. Alright, let's, let's see. Let's just see. Run it back again. 
just ain't leaving me down.